Surf's up. We're looking at the new HLTV rating 2.1. This was released a handful of hours ago today on October 14th, 2024. I'll just read through it for everybody that's watching this at 2x speed. You now don't have to be literate. You can just listen. So I'm doing you a favor. So be sure to like and subscribe, obviously. And leave a comment that you've loved everything I've ever done. Thank you. The YouTube algorithm loves that one. An update has been introduced to rating 2.0 with lower rewards for saving and averages tuned to CS2. When you prepare for a game, you need to take everything with you. Everything that gives you confidence in victory. Something inseparable from you or something that inspires you. Your concentration is the key to success. With every second and every click, you are getting closer to victory. The thing that I always did when I was looking at ratings and trying to make my player lists, this is a great stat that I would love to pull up. In the clutching tab right here for Zaiwu, ever since they added this kind of box of firepower and all these extra features, one thing that I would always do to sort of mentally deflate the rating that the person has is I'd go to clutching, saves per round loss, and if this number is above 10, I'd probably take away a little bit from this rating in my own head, and if the number is like well, it shouldn't be too low. If it's too low, then you're you're actually just not saving ever, and you probably should. But I felt like a good number for this actually was like 8.5, just from clicking a lot of different players over and over and over again. If you're around 8.5, you're probably actually going for it. It's not that I think Zai was playing for stats necessarily. If you're saving too often, that's a little awkward. That's just a little weird. And it probably means that your rating is a little fugazi. And Shiro, Shiro's was the, Shiro was just the worst offender of this by far, of people that were actually con, contending for a top spot. If you look at Dong, saves per round loss is 7.3. So he's probably saving a little bit more than he... He probably, probably actually could afford to save a little bit more, but I mean, I'm not penalizing him too much for that. But if I look at the other hand for, for Shiro, he's saving 16.1% of loss rounds. Like, that's just... You're just not going for it. After a while, you're actually just not going for it. Like, you need to go for wins sometimes. Like, think of a really... Again, Zai was a really good and balanced player, and, like, his number is pretty nice. But, like, who's another that all year has been super impactful, very effective? Um, let's just even do JL Top 20. His number is 8. It's, like, the perfect number. He's... JL is the platonic perfect example of this. Like, that's good. He's playing winning Counter-Strike, and he's just going for it enough another one really quickly and then i'm going to move back to the article jame 2024 trading saves per round loss 19.5 he deserved to be punished for that like that's terrible rating 2.1 has been rolled out across all hl tv for all cs2 matches and stats pages with slight tweaks made to the formula that was first introduced in 2017. With a year of CS2 under our belt, it was time to update the data behind the rating to reduce the reward for saving and adjust the averages behind the rating to be in line with MR12 and 26 damage assists rather than, rather than goes 41. The base of the formula remains the same with 10 sub ratings related to kills, survival, damage, KST, and impact on T and CT side. It is also set to result in an average of a 1.00 rating over a CS2 event, not mapper season, which was the case when rating 2.0 was released in 2017, but had st strayed in the years since. Other than that, the formula was lar has largely gone untouched with a development on a more wide-ranging rating 3.0 update underway. I'm excited for that because I feel like they're going to start involving Econ finally. And then, let's just be honest, I don't think Ema's winning the MVP for the most recent event, if they factor that in. Which is why Leadify's rating actually has a lot of merit. Uh, because it takes into account Ecos and win probability and people throwing advantages, gaining advantages. Um, but that algorithm is also a little bit tricky. But change log. Average is adjusted using one year of CS2 data. Average rating returned to 1.00 over an event 
All five sub ratings now have equal weight after survival, impact, and KAST became too important in CS2 for rating 2.0. Yeah, like again, again, they're they're acknowledging it that survival, impact, KAST became too important. Yes, I, I wholly agree with that. I think this is already a step in the right direction. Survival's in loss round, saving gives a lower reward. This is essential. This is exactly in line with how I've been talking for the last six months, seven months, eight months, or whatever. I don't know. Like, I just, I just always feel like people that are saving a lot, I, and ever since, really, ever since they added that that big firepower box that allowed you to directly check very easily how often are they saving in lost rounds. That 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 stat always just, it's just the worst inflator. You're not you're not actually going for it, and that's why, and that's frankly why I feel like kills per round wins, uh, ADR per round wins, both in some ways very strong metrics of a stat just because. You still get it. You still like, I, okay, whatever. Either way, I'll, I'll get onto that for later. Assisted kills give more reward than in 2.0 because of 26 damage assists rather than 41. Why did we need rating 2.1? The reason for the hotfix is simple. Over the years, as teams saved more, resulting in more survivals, fewer kills, and less damage, the averages for ratings underlying metric diverted. Okay, we just read that. When CS2 released, the averages were further affected by MR12 and notably assists which are part of kill, KST, and impact rating, change from 41 to 26. Sub rating changes. Okay. 4,000 players averages for 2.1 and 2.0 sub ratings. 2.1. So the kill part went down. The survival part. Oh, okay. So kill is a little bit more important. Survival is a 1.01. .01. Damage 1.03. KST went down. Impact went down. Instead of 60 damage being the max for an assisted kill, now it's 74, which means players did more damage in kills where a teammate got an assist. That This meant that the average rating crept up to around 1.06 on CS2 as players outperformed their expected values from Go. 2.1 will fix this, so expect to see slightly lower values across an event than before with the average return to 1.00. Let's just also, like, let's get ahead of a narrative. If people start to say, because the ratings go down, if there's a narrative that comes out in the next say six months as people forget that we're switching from 2.0 to 2.1 it's going to sound like this it's going to sound like people are saying is team i think i think people are playing better team counter-strike now i think people are focusing less on individuals and more on just winning as a team because they're just going to see that the numbers are lower and then in their head they're going to just like like wrongly assume that it's not really an individual game and it's more about the fact that oh they're working together and like no, no one's even really a star. Like it's all team. It's all just teamwork, and we're all in love and hunky dory. <clears throat> uh, so this meant the average rating crept up to around 1.06 on CS2 as players outperformed their expected values from Go. 2.1 will fix this, so expect to see. Yeah, I just read that. Okay. As well as adjusted averages, the formula itself has been changed to reduce the reward players earn from surviving loss rounds. You no longer earn a KAST point from saving in loss rounds where you did not get a kill, assist, or traded death, and survival rating treats survivals in loss rounds as less impactful than in win rounds. So now... Okay, so they changed KAST. So you don't get you don't get to keep your 100% KAST if you were just saving in loss rounds, if you didn't get a kill, assist, or traded death. I mean, you wouldn't you wouldn't have a traded death if you saved. That doesn't really make sense. But so now that's good. That's a good thing. So KST becomes more relevant now. Okay. Examples. In practice, this means players like Jame, who survived 20% of VP's lost rounds in CS2, are punished relative to rating 2.0. Here's a screenshot of a scoreboard from a random match. C9's 1310 win over VP at the Blast Premier Spring Groups 2024. Jame had low output in terms of kills and damage, and also saved once on T side and twice on CT, and drops from a 1.00 rating on 2.0 to a 0.88 in 2.1. That's massive, by the way. That is a huge change. You can see that Fame, for example, probably didn't save a lot. He had 17 deaths, only punished by 0 0.01. So maybe he saved, I assume, one time, maybe? Uh, I'm not even sure why he's went down based off of all this. But it looks like, yeah, Norbert probably saved once. I mean, let, I, I think we can even just do the math pretty quickly here. Fame probably didn't save, and then it's just some kind of it's just kind of the the bloat of 2.0, 2.1 that just changed his rating by 0 0.01. Just some of the some of the numbers being lightly tuned. We get Flit. Okay, we got Jame who saved three times. His rating went down 0 0.12. They say he saved. You can't. This isn't perfect. This isn't perfect, and don't take this at face value. 
but it's kind of how I'm seeing this. Uh, it's just a light. It's a. It is a little. It's a very light correlation. So his he saved once on T side, twice on CT. He went from a 1.00 to a 0.88. He dropped 0.12, saving three times. So looking at some of the other people on his team, Mir dropped 0 0.06. Norbert dropped 0 0.06. Flit drop 0 0.05. It kind of feels like they saved once each, maybe twice, but on the ones they on the second time they saved, maybe they got a kill, maybe maybe you know, that's I'm I'm just making an assumption here, but I'm kind of just like trying to pin values in my head to the actions. Here are six examples of events where players rank in the event drop significantly with the move to 2.2.1. All features lots of saving. Jame, 1.22 to 1.11. Flit, 1.10 to 1.01. I don't know how Wrinkle could have dropped, so I'm not reading that. Flit, 1.15 to 1.07. Caserato, 1.08 to 0.98. And Sun Pius, 1.07 to 0.99. And I don't think Wrinkle should be on that list. Uh, history of rating. Rating 1.0 was introduced to the site in 2010. We're going to get... Okay. All right. 2010 by... Pitar, as an improvement to KD in evaluation player performance in professional CS with multi-kills as a third factor in addition to kills and deaths. That core system remained in place for 2017's renewal of rating. 2.0 introduced a more complicated formula, new metrics like KSC and damage, and a reformed impact rating that added opening kills and clutches to the multi-kills that still drive the majority of the sub-rating. Uh, sure, okay. This meant supportive players who might contribute in terms of unfinished kills but dealt lots of damage, assists, or had their deaths traded were rewarded. Impact's new formula also gave a hand to aggressive players whose opening frags would win rounds on their own. Cool. Rating has and will continue to guide all statistical decisions at HLTV since its introduction and is the backbone behind MVP awards and the prestigious top 20 players of the year list award. Well, why... Okay, we'll see. How is rating calculated? The formula behind rating remains private, but we can reveal some elements behind rating behind 2.0 and 2.1 to increase the community's understanding. This really quickly, the formula behind rating remains private. I think it was Prof talked about this before, the fact that HLTV doesn't give the entire formula because that's part of their, I guess you would call it IP. Um, not usually Not usually used in the term of like, creating like a like a creative canon but for hltv it's because it's such an integral part to what they're doing it, it really kind of <laughs> the real the real the, the okay here here's the here's like the the jaded and like cynical answer is like well anybody could do your job if we had the rating right like anybody anybody could do your jobs that's that's the joke though i respect the people at hltv uh but these some of the ways these awards are handed out just feel like woohoo we just looked at the number we just looked at the number and we had the number before other people did okay it's not actually true it's not actually true i i think actually of all the people at hltv you know i got a lot of respect for nero note i even have respect for prof and striker i'm not in the same vein as thorin like i know he loves to clown on him but i think that they all do good stuff i mean I listen to enough of what they say to know that they always just try to be incredibly reasonable, like super unbiased, um, as logical as they can with a lot of their decisions. And a lot of that is founded on this rating. So yeah, I get it. You, it's, it's, they, they keep the, they keep the formula private. Firstly, the sub ratings, there are different averages behind all five sub ratings on both sides of the map. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. We kind of already know about all this stuff, but you can look at this if you want. Pause the video. Okay. Also, they include multiple factors. Kill ratings give more value to openers and perfect kills. Those where the attacker receives zero damage and less to assisted kills. I didn't really know about this, actually. Kill rating gives more value to openers and perfect kills. Wow, I didn't... Hmm. That's interesting. Actually, that's kind of interesting. I didn't really know about that. I didn't know they cared about that. Uh, and less to assisted kills. Survival rating rewards traded deaths... And punishes op opening deaths. And now saving. Especially on... on uh, good. Especially on T-side. Oh. Impact is based on multi-kill rounds. With differing credit based on how many kills, assists, and deaths a player scored in one round. 
I still don't care much about impact. Where impact measures explosive round winning peaks, KSC is designed to measure round to round consistency. It is now a percentage of rounds where the player earned a kill, assist, survival in a one round, or trade death. Survival in a one round is such a great distinction. That's such a great distinction. I mean, I mean, the thing is that I think that one okay one one small facet of the game that I feel like is being punished. Round eleven of the half, you have perfect economy. Your opponents have a, a busted buy going into round 12, okay? End of the half. You should not punish people for hunting. If, if, if Alexi B is hunting somebody out B tunnels, knows they're in T spawn, like a CT, he should not be punished for his team planting the bomb on B and him dying as he's going for some kind of hunt right there. So I think I, I think that he should like imagine imagine no actually though. So KST would punish him for this. This is the round. Alexi B has the smokes, the flashes. He throws a smoke into B. He like he throws a door smoke from outside B tunnels. He throws a flash into the bomb site, throws a flash into the bomb site, doesn't get any assists, doesn't shoot anybody. Um they're all they're all sitting, making sure that the post plan is clear. Okay, Jame and VP, they're not actually going for the retake. Okay, guys, let's hunt. Let's hunt. It's a round eleven. Let's try to make sure that they don't have guns into round twelve. Well, now he didn't get a, he didn't get a kill, he didn't get an assist, and he didn't survive. And because James was in fucking long A, he died. Like so, I, I don't, I don't, I think that's one. That's like we're being nitpicky, but like trying to. It's important to try to poke holes in these things to see like where do they fall short. That would be that would hurt him. That would hurt him. Where is economy? This is rating 2.1 and not 3.0 for a reason. A fundamental overhaul of rating using live round win probability, economy, and all the trimmings is something that is already in the works. So this is actually already what Leadify rating does. People just haven't gotten, people just don't really go to Leadify for ratings. And also, I don't think Leadify are parsing every single demo in tier one professional play. At least I'm not seeing that like i have to email them or or twitter dm them and then they give me sheets of of that stuff but i haven't messaged them for a while because i guess i could i guess i could i just don't like feeling needy <laughs> but um no i probably should because because the economy stuff is important but now we also have skybox edge which is showing full buy versus full buy full buy versus eco full buy versus half buy whatever you know all that stuff but it's a long-term process, and we're not there yet. Okay, but I'm glad that they're giving something for the interim in rating 2.1. It feels like it's a step in the right direction. Okay. However, we don't want to make a development make development of 3.0 stop us from making a smaller but significant one now with award season around the corner. We do not see rating 2.1 as a finished product, but a stop on the way to the main goal, which is rating 3.0, the next generation of rating that will evaluate player performance. Performance. It's almost a perfectly written article, but we got performance. It's like a bromance. Perf romance. Even more accurately. It's okay. Now, I think Nero wrote this. So, Nero, are you watching? Nero, are you there? Nero, are you there? Watch this. I refresh this in 10 minutes and it's it's fixed. I refresh this in 10 minutes. Maybe even faster. Huh? You think? You think? We'll come back. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to this. But, um... <clears throat> uh... General takes, really quickly, um, I think, that I, again, I've, I've given takes throughout this whole thing, but if you're watching just for the ending summary of the video, because I, I think I will upload this to YouTube, that was pretty concise, actually. I, I think that rating 2.1 is a huge step in the right direction, because, or it, I'm actually not going to say huge. Let's not use hyperbole right now, okay? I think it is a needed step in the right direction. I think this is a... My biggest complaint about some of the rating farmers throughout the year were the fact that they were saving on lost rounds. And sometimes people like Donk would get punished so much because he doesn't save ever. Like Donk's rating would be better if he saved more, but he just goes for shit all the time. Maybe he should save a little bit more, okay? I, I actually think there's a case to be made there. Should he save a little bit more? Perhaps, but... Should, if we do big events, 2024, top 20. That Shiro argument for number four has, has definitely gone down a ways. Definitely gone down a good ways.
That is definitely not as certain, not as much of a certainty as it was a week ago. Okay. Rating 2.0, I'm pretty sure Shiro was like 1.21. I'm pretty sure it was up like maybe even higher. It might have even been rating. I think he might have been 1.22. And so it felt like to stat cells, Shiro at number four is a certainty. It's, it's just obvious. It's just obvious. Well, what say you now that your god of stats and algorithm creators has decreed that saving in loss rounds is not nearly as important? It's a lot closer, isn't it? And if you're such a stat cell, maybe the sample size argument should also be invoked. Maybe. Maybe. All right. That's going to be the YouTube video for this. I'll obviously shape my analysis based off of what I see with rating 2.1. I think it aligns more so with how I see things. And so, obviously, Shiro's still a good player. But I don't think it's as clear-cut that he's number four. Because the difference in 0 .02 rating... Like, that's why we're having this massive debate between these three guys. 0 .02 is something where you do really need to take into account quality of victories, the level of opponents that they're playing. I think even looking maybe now... It would be interesting to look now at um, how some of these guys are versus top 10 opponents rating 2.1. Okay, we got Zaiwu, big events, 1.26. Let's just let's just go through all the top guys. 1.26 for Donk. Monacy, 1.26. Well, now it gets pretty freaky, doesn't it? Okay, that's going to be it for the video. As always, being toxic is a choice.